we have some windfall apples, various varieties. We're going to make um, some applesauce out of them. I'm going to make a couple of quarts here today. And um, I've done this in the past a couple times, and I know about 2,600 grams um, after I peel them and uh, remove the cores. It's going to give me uh, enough apples to make those two quarts of applesauce. So I'm going to just uh, add apples here until I get that much. Good, right there. Got 2697. Should make a couple of quarts of applesauce. Get roughly around five pounds of apples. Dutch oven. A hand masher. Food processor. And uh, some quart storage bag, freezer storage bags, and a and a cookie sheet. I want to get together. The, the first thing we need to do is uh, peel and decor these apples. Number of ways to do it. I'm just going to do it up with a knife. But uh, there's tools and other equipment out there you can use for that. And these are, are windfalls, these apples, so they're not uh, perfect eating apples. So I'm going to have to do a little extra work to clean them up. As you can see, it takes a fairly short time to do an apple. We'll have these done in probably 20 minutes. All peeled and ready to, ready to cook. That's another possible method to use. Um, this little gadget takes the core out and also segments the uh, apple at the same time. And the same thing, just peel it. And our waste. So half an hour to peel that five pounds of those apples. Empty bowl on there, turn on the scale. Grams. Nineteen thirty-three grams. Since we started with twenty six ninety seven, finished with nineteen thirty two, that's a seven hundred and sixty five gram loss, or twenty eight percent. Before we cook these, we're going to add half a gram, or half a cup of water, which is for you uh, measurement to haul, looks like me, 127 grams. I'm going to put them on the stove and uh, cook them. See the water on the bottom starting to boil, so now we have to stir them to let them scorch on the bottom. You can also turn the heat down. It doesn't need to be on high. I'm going to go a little above medium. On the heat. So just keep stirring this until they get soft enough that they can mash up. So that's been boiling for about five minutes and we've been stirring. And also now we can start the, uh, the mashing process as these uh, apples get softer. And we're continuing a few minutes later. These are resembling more and more just a mushy mass of apples. another three or four minutes. Okay, so when I consider this to be uh, sufficiently uh, cooked, um, you can't really feel any apple pieces anymore when you use the masher in there. And now uh, we're going to let the fruit process. We'll do the rest of the uh, peel.
pureeing these apples into a sauce. So that's what it takes about 10 minutes of cooking. Okay, I'm just going to take the mashed apples and put them into the food processor. And I do this in about a third, a third of the apples at a time. So as not to overload the food processor and result in incomplete processing. Okay, I'm just going to turn it on and let it rip for a while. Okay, let's have a look at what we have. Oh yeah, we're looking very saucy in here now. And take the chopper out. And the next step is to transfer it into the quart freezer bag. What I have is set this up on here inside of a uh, just a four cup measuring cup. And um, I divide it in half. You know, I like to do it by weight. Um, I'm, I'm shooting for about 950 grams in here for a fill. Um, what we have to do is, I'm going to pour this into the cup so it more easily can be poured in. Okay, I'm going to have to do another batch in order to hit my amount on there. I write down what I have on there now, 454. Okay, that should suffice for our target, 920. Next thing you want to do, we have to do is work the air out of the bag. So we're going to take it out of here. This came out, came out rather fine. You know, it's up to you. You can you can uh, process that a little less if you want to have a more coarse applesauce. Uh, on a matter of taste, I, I gave it a taste test, and, it, and it's rather sweet. I, I like it natural, um, but of course at that point you can add sugar cinnamon, whatever you want to it. Now the thing that I do prior to freezing is put it on a cookie sheet because that way it, when it freezes it'll freeze it'll freeze nice and flat, easy to store. And this is also another time where you can kind of work some air bubbles out. I still have a little bit in there. Pocket of air, which you know if you leave in there is going to contribute to it, you know, getting freezer burn. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, here's our second quart. Got 847 there. And there's some waste in the cups and so forth as you move it around. You can have a little in the bowl so it isn't going to come up absolutely precise. But again, you know, work the air out. Set it down on the cookie sheet. And there's a big air bubble in there. Got to spend a little bit of time working the air out and then seal it well and uh, put it in the freezer. Months down the road, it's going to be great. Okay, so here it is, January. I'm going to grab our apple, some of our applesauce that we made in the last October, thaw it out and enjoy it. Hi, so here we are in January, finishing the last of the first bag of the applesauce we made last October. And it tastes great. Something about making, yourself, making it yourself, it just tastes better. You know exactly what went into it. That's apples, cooked and mashed. Thanks for watching this video. Mm-hmm.